Today I'm reviewing this lab compound binocular microscope by Vabios. The first thing you note with this item would be the carrying case it arrives in. The case seems fairly light duty and amounts to some aluminum angle pieces with some plastic panels. At first it feels a little bit flimsy, but then it seems okay and does have some good padding on the inside to cradle the microscope and accessories. While there are plenty of sectioned off spaces in the case for all the parts, things do move around quite a bit. And that gives me some pause if this will be a problem if you pack and unpack regularly inside of the case. There is an instruction booklet that seems more of a general guide than a specific guide as it does not exactly depict the model that I received. Uh, the setup of the microscope is fairly intuitive and can complete, be completed in just a few short minutes, maybe even less than a minute. Your main decision is which objective lens to load. Do you go with the 10X or the 25X? You remove the plugs from the eye tubes and then you insert the objective lenses. I'll use the 10X. We insert the objective lenses. We, we then remove the thumb screws on the stage. See if we can get a view here. There's these thumb screws right here on the stage. We're going to then take the slide holder and there is an upward, there is an upside to this. You'll, it's pretty obvious. We're going to load this onto the stage and tighten it down with the screws that we just removed. Next, we're going to plug in the power source. We're going to put the barrel plug into the back of the microscope and then plug this into a power supply. And as you can see, the status light does turn on. And right now, with it powered off, we're so showing zero for the power draw. And the final step, you need to take the small little Allen key. And there's three recessed screws. I've already loosened mine, by the way. But there's three recessed screws. There's one on the right side, one on the left side, and one on the front. You need to loosen those just a little bit to allow the to unlock the ability and allow the binoculars to swivel in that 360 degrees. Uh, once you get this turned on, you're good to go. You can Prepare your own slides. They do include uh, 50 of the slides and the cover glasses if you want to prepare your own slides, or you can purchase pre-prepared slides elsewhere. Uh, you'd load your slide into the slide holder and adjust the microscope. Um, this was fairly easy to use. Uh, for me, the things I noticed is the diopter adjustment is only on the right uh, lens, so you're not going to get the best vision with the binocular. Um, and for me in particular, I had some difficulties getting the, I think they call it pupillary distance set correctly, uh, but you can always just use the one side uh, in a monocular fashion and it works fine. Uh, seems like a fairly easy microscope to use. Uh, the We'll go ahead and turn this on now, actually. And you'll see the power draw stays at zero almost constantly. Every once in a while, you'll see it jump up to three watts for just a moment. Uh, the included light is the only power draw that is happening from the microscope. I believe the light is rated at one watt, but even when you open it up full brightness, it it's a negligible amount of power. And right now this is cranked up all the way and we're seeing no power draw. Uh, but if you keep an eye on it every once in a while, it'll jump up to three watts. I don't know if that's just a peculiarity of the power supply or what. Uh, the power draw is very minimal. Um, it, for how small the amount of power draw, it would have actually been nice if they would have maybe loaded a small battery or just made this USB powered. That way you could use a power bank instead of having to be connected to a wall power source. Uh, that's one improvement that I would like to see happen, which would make me happier, is either a built-in battery or that USB power source. Uh, it's, there are four different powers on the microscope and they're easy to rotate. There's a small locking pin. Uh, it's kind of standard fare for microscopes I've ever used. You do have coarse 
adjustments or focus, which moves this whole stage towards the lenses. Uh, the large knob is the coarse or very quick movements. And then you have the smaller one for the fine movements for the focus. Um, on the other side, on the left-hand side of the microscope, you do have another set of two, you know, there's two gears here. There's a, the top ring that sticks out more, moves the stage in one direction, and then the bottom knob will slide the slide holder um, left and right. It works very well. I've got no real complaints on this. Uh, I would rate this four out of five stars.